Very importantly, what we know in this country, and a lot of people don't know that, democracy we've been practicing has its own history. The 92 constitution came about as a result of the truncations we've been having. And indeed, as we speak, history tells us that this is the longest surviving uh, constitution that we have, the 92 constitution. And it was built or developed to make sure that we have a political stability. So we call it political constitution. We need to migrate from political stability to a democratic uh, or developmental constitution. The political constitution builds individuals and not institutions. It was developed so that it will also encourage Rawlings to ensure that we go into a democracy. So sadly, Rawlings was convinced that, look, even though we go into a democracy, the constitution still gives you the mandate, the power, to behave as though you are a dictator. And so he agreed to it and went into a democracy. As we speak, the constitution we have has a president who is enjoying a centralized power. And so for us to make sure that we move from a political constitution to a democrat, uh, developmental constitution, what we need is a comprehensive review, constitutional review of the 92 constitution. When you do that, the first thing you do is that you decentralize power so that key institutions like Shraj, Iyoku, uh, the military, the police, electoral commission, attorney general, Auditor General, these key institutions should not be appointed by the president or should not be controlled by the president because they are the backbones as far as our democracy is concerned. The very moment you polarize it or you make it political, you reduce it and you weaken it. And that is why we have all the troubles we have. So what Ghana needs now is a comprehensive constitutional review. You're welcome.